So if you remember a couple videos ago, I upgraded the CPU to this to a regular i5 quad core. Uh, what was originally in here was a dual core. I don't remember if it was an i5 or an i3, but it was the, the low current variant. So I put a, a regular i5 in here and it ran, but it ran very hot. So I lapped the heat sink and it, it solved the problem. So currently this has been running for a couple hours and you can see it's in the mid to high 70s. It bounces around and it's just running a miner just to just to heat it up. Now normally that's not great temps, but for something this small, that's pretty damn good. So now what I wanna do is throw an i7. It's an i7-3770. And I wanna see if it works in here. Now this apparently, I forget what the wattage is, but as far as the TDP, this is supposed to have the same TDP as the i5, and I find that very hard to believe. Now, one thing you'll notice is I have a VGA coming out the back. This uses uh, DisplayPort and as well as VGA, no HDMI, and I don't have a way to capture uh, DisplayPort at the moment, so I'm just gonna use VGA and use a camera to, to kind of film the screen as needed because this isn't really going to be a lot of on-screen stuff. So let's take this apart, and first we'll see if it powers up. And we'll see how hot it gets. Might not have to do anything. This might be a very short video. Now, oddly enough, I ran, let this run. The night I did this, I let it run overnight. And I came back into the workshop the next day, and it was pretty. Warm. It was actually warm in here. Now, usually in the winter months, I have to uh, use a space heater in here because this room gets kind of chilly. But I let this run overnight, running a miner just to just to test it out. And when I got in here, it was actually warm. Now, when this fan gets going full tilt, you can really feel the air coming out. I mean, about four or five feet away, you can actually feel it hitting you. So I think that's the the reason it actually you know warms up the room. So I don't know. Maybe this will be my. Uh, new space heater and uh, my money-making space heater. It only takes 12 hours to warm the room up. Now, some people actually have mentioned uh, in the comments about delitting it, and I could do that, but that you risk damaging the chip when you do that. Uh, but also for something like this, you don't have much metal there. I mean, it's, it, this thing's pretty thin and you want as much as much mass as possible to absorb as much heat as possible. And I'm kind of counting on this to, to do that because usually these are made out of copper and they're just plated. Don't know in this case, because that one was really heavy. This one's kind of thin, so who knows? All right, let's see what she does. I got the little camera set up. I got the monitor here. Let's turn it on, see what happens. And by, by the way, yes, I did that entire thing while it was still plugged in, which is really stupid. I should have uh, not done that, but hey. So let's turn it on. And we got nothing. Oh, that's booting. All right, so it is recognized in the CPU. We got eight eight threads, four cores. I got CPU burn going. And let's see, we're at 64. All right, I'm gonna let this sit here and let this just run for a bit. All right, so I'm back and you can hear the fan is screaming. It's up at uh, mid 80s and it's climbing. I wound up switching back to XM rig because it just seems to heat up the CPU much faster. And the fan, oh wow, you can really feel the heat coming off this thing and the fan is really going. Let's try something. Let's pull the CPU out of here and lap the CPU. I've never actually done this uh, to a CPU itself, but let's lap the CPU and see if that helps at all. I don't know if you can see that, but it's an i7-3770, the last time you'll see this. Um, I have done heat sinks before. I've never done the actual CPU. <laughs> And one thing I can see already is the inside was a little bit lower than the outsides, but not by too much. As you can see, it's nice and orange. So we're going down to the copper. And actually I still see a bit, might not see it on camera. I see, I'm gonna go a little bit further. I still see a little bit of plating. So I'm gonna knock that down just a little bit more. That looks good to me. Still looks a little bit rough on camera, but trust me, it's it feels pretty smooth, and that's that's enough. All right, so right off the bat, I mean, it is cold and it hasn't warmed up yet, but we're down in the twenties now, 
That's pretty impressive. All right, so I will let this run for a few minutes and we'll come back and see what it's, what it's doing. All right, so as you see, it's been running for about eight minutes and it's starting to cool back down. It actually got up pretty high. It was up in the 90s, but then the fans kicked on and wow, there's a lot of heat coming out of the back of this. You can feel it through the glove. But it's starting to cool down now now that the heat's on, or now that the fans go full blast. You can see it's up in the high 70s. It's coming down to the mid 70s now. So it's it's as time goes on, it's it's getting a little bit better. It's cooling down. But there is a lot of heat coming out the back of this thing. But yeah, so it works. Despite what everybody says that you cannot put an i7 in here, you can. You just gotta do a little bit of work to cool it down. So I know this is kind of a simple video, but I was gonna do it anyway. I figured I'd film it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.